I think being interested is a function of curating and really being attentive to being curious. But curiosity is a soft skill. It's not as tangible. I, as a coach, I don't know how to tell someone, hey, I want you to be more curious starting on Friday. I think it's something that you can become aware of. So specifically, if I'm speaking with somebody, then they might express something, state of what they perceive to be a fact about something. Let's say it's not something that I see eye to eye with. Rather than, for me, try to come against that, I think practicing curiosity. Hey, tell me a little bit more about that. Everything you think in the moment you think it, you think you're right. I think I'm right. If we give the prefrontal cortex a little bit of a chance, we can step back and go, ooh, I'm not sure I should have said that. I'm not sure I should have done that. So the best example I can give about this, and if anybody wants to practice this, I just tell people, go for a drive. We all drive around thinking this activity, we might be the only people on the planet that know how to do it. And everybody else is some bumbling idiot that doesn't use their turn signals or speeds or whatever. And so now when I'm driving and I think, gosh, that person, what an idiot. I say, I think that to myself. What if I was trained to examine that thought? What if I had enough awareness? What if I could go, wow, Steve, what an interesting thought. As opposed to believing that, what if I examined it? What if I accepted it as a thought, but was willing to go, I wonder if that's correct. Could that person be in a hurry? I don't know anything about that person. One of the things that I learned is that there is this strange pull towards making things permanent. If you're going through a difficult thing, remembering that it's a season and that the season will end. When we're going through a challenging time and we compound it by making it permanent, now you're fighting two battles. And so probably the challenging thing is already enough. So if we can keep in mind that whatever the season, it's a season of our lives.